Welcome to our last video in our Optimizing Your LinkedIn series. In this video, we'll review tips for staying engaged on LinkedIn. One way to connect with professionals in your field and learn about companies and trends in your industry is to join groups on LinkedIn where you can build connections and join conversations. Often, group members will also post job opportunities before sharing them more publicly. Additionally, you can follow company or individuals' newsletters, attend lives on LinkedIn, and follow hashtags to stay updated on trending topics. Another benefit of using LinkedIn is making use of potential UMD alumni connections. To find alumni on LinkedIn, search University of Maryland or University of Maryland A. James Clark School of Engineering from your homepage. We recommend following both pages. Within each, you can click on the Alumni tab and filter by major, company, or job title to see potential contacts. Results will be found directly under the boxes with statistics in the section titled People You May Know. It is helpful to search for alumni to research where people in your major are working, what titles they have, as well as what internships or other experiences and credentials they have that qualify them for their current role. You can also see how your LinkedIn profile stacks up to theirs and, of course, reach out through individual messages to set up informational interviews where you can gain insight on career paths and companies as well as potentially find mentors or referrals. To elaborate, informational interviews are different from job interviews. They are short conversations, usually within 15 to 30 minutes, where you connect with someone to gain general career advice, learn about their career journey, in companies they've worked in, or even receive help in your resume or interviewing. While these conversations could result in potential job leads, that should not be the focus for them. The aim for informational interviews is growing long-term relationships that will benefit your professional journey, not only immediately, but also in the future. In our handout linked below, we provide suggested language for reaching out to potential contacts and provide ideas on the types of questions you can ask during informational interviews. Before we conclude this video, we want to share some final tips for using LinkedIn. Number one, don't sync your contacts when setting up your account. Personalize invitations when connecting to each individual. You can do so by clicking into the individual's profile, hitting connect, and then adding a note. Number two, we suggest personalizing your profile URL. Removing extra numbers from your automated link will allow you to create a cleaner looking link for your resume. Directions for updating your URL will be provided in the links below. Number three, remember to update your profile periodically. You may want to set calendar reminders to update your information at the end of every semester to ensure your profile reflects your most recent accomplishments. And number four, remember to keep your posts and post engagements, such as comments, professional. Thanks for watching this series on optimizing your LinkedIn. We welcome you to visit our office in 1131 Martin Hall, or email us if you have any questions or would like to have your LinkedIn profile reviewed. We look forward to seeing you.